Kinsville, Tennessee, uh, anywhere in between, but I actually had to kind of move, I had to move my home location closer to Nashville so that my 50 mile radius for where I would show up on people's searches um, would include all of the greater Nashville area, not just slice off a portion of the city leaving, you know, leaving the airport under represent or unrepresented and just little niches like that. So um, being able to deliver the cars at night, um, having cars that have rem the remote drop off capability. So like most 2018s and newer come with the app, whether it's the Toyota app or the My Chevrolet app or the Ford Pass app that allows me to lock keys in the car and then unlock them remotely. And that's, that usually just comes with the car. Sometimes you have to pay for it, like OnStar, you pay a monthly subscription. That's part of it. I know Dodge, it's Uconnect, that's their infotainment brand and uh, you pay a subscription for that as well. But the logistical side of it is there. You know, it's not just you hopping in an Uber, or hopping in a Lyft and then driving people around and that's it. Now, there are definitely logistical concerns with Uber and Lyft. It's just that with Turo, you know, you're delivering a car potentially and then all of a sudden you still need to get home or you need to go to work or you need to go somewhere else. So be open to logistics. It's very doable. I started with one car. I got up to six cars. I was making it happen. Um, it certainly helps to have the tools of Uber, Lyft, and uh, a willing fiance that is willing to go pick you up at random times at night. Um, but logistics is a big part of it. Another thing, another why um, you should do Turo is if you want to make money. Now, uh, you know, a car is, a car is a big outlay of money. I don't like to call cars investments because 99% of cars will lose value, whether that's depreciate like, you know, rockets like a Mercedes, a BMW, a lot of those lose over 50% of their value within three to five years. Or, you know, you have your Toyotas that only depreciate um, you know, down to about 60%, you know, in the first three to five years, we can get into that as well. Um, or, you know, my Ford Raptors were, were real snails with depreciation. You know, I was able to, to get out of those for basically just cost. So, um, if you, if you want to make money, correction, if you want to do Turo, you need to be at least somewhat money motivated. Um, you don't have to be like greedy. You don't have to be um, looking to be rolling in cash, but you do need to be money conscious and respectful of and motivated by money. So, you know, ideally, like we've said, the, the no questions asked goal, the minimum goal every month is make the monthly payment. So with the charger, you know, the monthly payment's about $550. You add personal car insurance in there because you still need that. Um, so, you know, I, I, I aim to make between 600 and 650 dollars a month no matter what with the charge no matter what if it's if it's the current you know situations we find ourselves in in the world no matter if it's cold and rainy or if it's too hot and or if the car is in the shop for half the month the minimum is the monthly payment so that you're not you know wasting money now two three four times the monthly payment is achievable in the right markets and with the right logistics, the right marketing, the right customer service, the right five-star reviews on your profile, all that good stuff. So um, you gotta wanna make money. You don't have to be greedy. You don't, you don't have to wanna be rich. Although on this channel, 2740 Solutions, $2,740 a day, million dollars a year, plus that extra $100 that you're gonna go and invest in Webull uh, down link below. Uh, to get your two free stocks valued up to fourteen hundred dollars, um, chances are you want to be you want to get wealthy so that then you can be you know the person who dictates what you do in your life. You know you're not you're not wed to that job. You're not wed to that uh, that 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 money for time swap that you have to perform every day or you know five days a week or whatever your schedule may be. So the last thing I have written here is um, why you should do Turo. Um, you got to be disciplined enough to follow their rules and regulations because we're not we're not playing around with you know we're not playing around with you know like a lemonade stand here we're we're we have real cars you know 30 40 70 100,000 cars 
uh, on the road and they're out there and some people out on the roads, whether, even if it's not you or your renters, some people are out there driving like they're driving bumper cars or you know, with all these current events, you gotta have insurance. Whether your car gets lit on fire or someone just does burnouts with it, which is why the Charger just got new tires. Um, you know, you gotta be covered by insurance and that, that's really protecting you, protecting your family and protecting the renter and, and kind of all parties involved because you know, Turo doesn't wanna, wanna you don't wanna make Turo a bad name for just denying all your claims um, because you couldn't follow the rules and vice versa. Like if you follow the rules and you're disciplined, um, they, they have no reason to not cover your vehicle or at least give you that peace of mind so you can go to sleep at night when you know you have hundreds of thousands of dollars potentially of cars rolling around on the road doing god knows what so um that discipline you got to have that why you got to have that discipline to you know take your check-in photos take your checkout photos maybe get a jeep an additional gps tracking unit for your vehicle and uh just be willing to you know communicate clearly with the renter and that's that's really about it on that um, this video went a little bit longer than I was expecting to um, but I think that it gives you guys a lot of content on the why you may or may not want to do Turo because Turo is not for everybody like I said very prohibitive to people who are not super pumped about cars um, there is a great channel centered around a Turo host she's a, a Turo power host and when I say power I mean like she has thousands and thousands of trips almost all five star ratings. I mean, when you do thousands and thousands of trips, you're gonna have some people that get disgruntled but for, for random reasons. But anyway, uh, her name is Saima. Uh, her channel is Saima's Experience. I'll link that down below in the description for some more nitty gritty content on Turo. If, should you guys be watching this video and really hungry for Turo content, that you can, you can go there, search her video. She has pretty much a video on every little nitpicky thing with Turo. I just, uh, I'm still creating my content, so I will start hitting hitting those check marks for you guys. Uh, maybe with a little bit more driving content, a little spin on it. Um, so I appreciate you guys tuning in to our first video talking about some of the more nitty gritty of Turo. Um, I remember uh, claim your free socks below in the description and follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. That's 2740 Solutions. Remember, $2,740 a day uh, of income will get us to be making a million dollars a year. And uh, just toss that extra 100 bucks back in your Weeble profile and uh, get in while the market's low, because it's crazy right now, but everyone pretty much agrees it's still pretty low. So uh, thanks for tuning in. I will see you guys tomorrow, and stay safe out there.